You're watching TVC News at 10. Let's take you to Yobe State now, where the leadership of commercial tricycle riders and security operatives have met with Governor Mai Malabuni in order to reach a compromise after recent clashes between both parties in Damatur. Now, our correspondent Michael Oshoma has details in this report. <laughs> Last week Wednesday, tricycle riders went on a rampage against security agents over what they describe as consistent intimidation and extortion by security operatives. The clash resulted in many government properties being vandalized. It's a nationwide something. They must register their vehicles and must obtain their driver's license. Following the recent clash between tricycle operators and security operatives in Yobe State, Governor May Malabuni has decided to meet with parties involved in the clash for a reconciliation. Seated in this hall are leaders of tricycle operators, security operatives, government officials and other participants. The chairman of the tricycle operators apologizes on behalf of his members. Governor Boni on his part says the government has forgiven the riders for their lawless acts but warns that they must comply with security directives on number plate registration. They are here to apologize over what actually happened uh, between them and the law enforcement agencies. Yobe, as a state, we cannot afford to have another round of insecurity in any form, and we have to nip it in the boot whenever such problems arise. We have nothing personally against anybody. It's not a matter of anything. It's for the interest of them and ourselves. And why promising to comply? The commercial tricycle riders are appealing to the governor to extend the curfew time. Michael Oshoma, TVC News, Damaturu.